Do you ever go to a car boot sale and think, God, what a load of crap. Yeah? Every bloody week, isn't it? Well, I don't actually mind it. You see, I go to a car boot sale and I dig for gold, or I try to. But in the event that I can't, I look for really weird items. And that's what this video is all about. My name is Alex Griffo Griffiths, and this is Five Strange Items Found at a Car Boot Sale. In one. So I normally have a look around the car boot sales for like video games and consoles and what the flip is that? Jesus Christ. And oh, it oh I don't even know where to begin with it. What is it? And that's the thing, I mean, like it I can't decide whether it's from an actual store or whether it's a kid's project or something. And either way, like if it was from a store, why would you buy that? It looks awful. And B, if it's a kid's project, you don't want to be selling it, do you? Oh, I mean, what were they thinking? Or maybe they see this as a work of art and they're trying to test the waters a bit, selling it at the car boot sale, hoping to make millions. But they never will off that because it's sh shocking, isn't it? I mean, what is it? Is it a hedgehog? I mean, can you imagine them thinking, yeah, this is going to take over the world, it'll be in the presidential office with Donald Trump, or, or maybe even at Buckingham Palace surrounded by all the royal artefacts. It may even be an amazing prop in the next Hollywood blockbuster. Or it could even be the next Pokemon. Yeah, it's never going to happen, is it? I mean... Let's just put this thing out of its misery and bury it in the Arizona desert with all the other Teds. In two. Ah, uh, adult stores. Do you ever find that they're too expensive or not discreet enough? And do you sick of going to A and E because the cucumber keeps snapping? Well, the boot sale has got you covered because look what I found. The Intimidator! Well, it bloody intimidated me. Oh. Tell you what though, it brought back memories of being in prison. Oh sh- In three! Now let me set the scene for you. You're a young lady, and you're in the forest. And you're looking around the place, and you realise that you're lost. <laughs> What's that? Oh no! It's the wolf! Well, if only you'd come to your local booter, because when I was looking around, I found these two things on the floor. And they're quite interesting. It's a Miss Army Knife. Now, you can imagine a load of chauvinistic men sat around a table discussing what a Miss Army Knife should have. And you, you can just imagine it, can't you? Like, what colour should it be? Definitely pink. Alright, and what else do women like? Mirrors. Yeah, well, my wife's always looking in one. And what else should we put on it? Well, bottle opener for the Prosecco. Yep, definitely. And what else? Yeah, maybe a lip gloss brush and some lip gloss. Oh, yeah, because if they're in the forest and they get lost and die, they want to look good, right? <sighs> I, I don't know. I, I just... It baffles me. Really, really does. In four. Now this one confused me quite a lot because I didn't know whether these baskets were for sale or whether he was using them for his customers to, you know, pile it full of his crap to buy. I mean, who's going to buy that really? In five. Now if you're living in the past and you haven't discovered that pornography is easily found on things like Twitter and Snapchat, then the booter is the place for you, because there's plenty of <coughs> jazz mags and rhythm magazines to keep you occupied until, well, it drops off from overuse. And that wraps up my five strange car boot items. So if you want to let me know in the comments what you thought was the worst item or 
if you found anything worse than these. I'd be surprised though. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And I just want to thank you for watching. And thank you for your support. It means so much to me. I'll be back again very soon. Thanks again.